This is NDTV. And you're watching NDTV Hindu. Hello and welcome to the late night news on NDTV Hindu. I'm Ramanathan. The top stories tonight. A new academic year at school but with the old exorbitant fees. Complain and this is what you will hear. A private car swiftly drives along Rahul Gandhi's convoy in Chennai. Police and security forces caught unawares. Rahul is safe. Another air tragedy, a Navy helicopter crashes in Vizag in Andhra Pradesh, a sailor dead, two others injured. The telemarketing menace calls and messages and the do not call joke being played on you, a special investigation by NDTV Hindu. The country's premier investigating agency is short-staffed, the CBI director tells NDTV Hindu. On the eve of his 86th birthday, Chief Minister Karunanandi keeps his promise and signs documents to donate his Gopalpuram house to a trust. Well, it was day one for a new academic year for most private schools in Chennai, but the scene at most schools was one shot of an open face-off between the parents and the school management over what the cost of education should be. Many parents still unaware that the management decided to retain the previous fee structure despite the recommendation of the Fee Regulation Committee. Minal Shah reports. Angry parents are staging a Rasta Roko in the heart of Chennai, just outside Mohammad Satak Matriculation Higher Secondary School. Just one of the 5,000 schools where parents turned livid after the school simply refused to follow the Govindrajan Committee's recommendations to regulate fees. Government rules say, after a two-hour long drama, the school management finally broke silence but didn't have any good news for the parents. They say they have reduced the fees by 2,000 rupees and just cannot afford any more slash. All is not well between the school management and the parents of the school. The parents now want to take this matter to the director of school education and file a complaint there. The private school associations say that they are now waiting for the Govindrajan committee to reconsider the recommendation. But the stalemate seems far from over because sources in the education ministry say they are not willing to give in and so are the parents. In Chennai, Minal Shah for NDTV Hindu. Now, senior editor Radhika Ayer spoke to Mr. Vail Murugram, senior principal of the Vailamal Group and schools, and Mr. Prince Gajendra Babu, an education activist. It's a debatable question. Now, even the government as well as the you committee. You agree it's debatable. You agree that no, it's they're, definitely they're, debatable it's because see, debate. that's the reason we are here. Right. What is your biggest expenditure if you talk about, see, uh, let's say, you, salaries or, or running a school? If you take any school, any school, mm -hmm. uh, any school for that matter is human resource. So you have the best of the human resource, you have to pay them. Now it seems Rahul Gandhi cannot stay away from security breaches far too long. The youth congress leader was in Chennai today to attend an event at a college and when his convoy entered the college, a red swift in a major breach of security closely followed Rahul's convoy and even managed to enter the college campus unchecked. The security guards caught unawares. Sources say that party carders of the congress party were in that red swift. However, there is no official confirmation on that. Questions have been raised about the security for Rahul Gandhi at the venue, someone who has a Z plus security cover. On the eve of his 86th birthday, Chief Minister M. Karunandi formally handed over his Gopalpuram residence to a public charitable trust. He wants his residence to be converted to a hospital providing free medical services to the poor after his and his wife's lifetime. Reaction, 
என்னுடைய எண்ணத்தை பேரி என்னுடைய பிள்ளைகள் யாரும் நடக்கோ மாட்டார்கள் இந்த ப இந்த பிரச்சனை நடக்கவில்லை and the long list of people joining the dmk is not anywhere near an end now well known transgender activist kalki today told ntv hindu that she would join the dmk soon while kalki's friend and transgender television host rose made her political ambitions public she has not yet decided on a particular political party kalki who has been in the forefront of many anti government protests as a right activist today said she would join the dmk as the present dmk regime had announced a slew of welfare measures for the transgender community in tamil nadu I think uh, once the Tamil World Conference is over in July I am planning to join politics and uh, I will be a member of the Dravida Munnetra Karagam Now in the middle of an afternoon nap or at an important meeting most of us are often interrupted by unwelcome beeps we are talking about marketing calls or SMSs through which senders try to palm off credit cards and loans or even offer part time jobs pan cards and net connections But in a shocking revelation, NDTV Hindu has found that even if you have subscribed to the Do Not Call registry, you are unlikely to get any relief. Why? Because your number may have already been stolen or leaked out to telemarketers. Sometimes, even by your own service provider. Our investigative reporter Simonish tracks this threat to your privacy. The barrage of unsolicited messages and calls just seems incessant. Uh, I think it's a uh, completely frustrating thing and a big nuisance because uh, I keep getting calls about you know how to apply pan cards and ICIC keeps calling asking me whether I need this insurance and that insurance and it's totally irritating. So how are customers on the Do Not Call registry stalked and their numbers stolen by telemarketers? Our first stop is this mobile store in Adyar. We pose as telemarketing agents on the prowl in search of a database. next stop is at the corporate office of the same mobile company where we managed to meet the marketing representative and just hear out his suggestion after record some people will be having this data and all they'll be collecting by the players and all the two players and collecting how what is the age or whatever somebody would be having those data in market you can get those data contact some telemarketer we well, they would have anyway analyzed the they would have downloaded all the customer the way I, i can help you out is go to some telemarketers you can help you there with this tip we decide to dig deeper and what emerges is truly shocking we decide to call a telemarketer a man who seems to have access to each and every number in chennai ungalku at least 150 to 200 people has to come in na yeah they have to Yeah. yeah at least you need to send sms is around 50000 responses will be in one person one ratio right saying right. the 100 is to 1 la irukum illa 1000 is to 1 da irukum seringla so adukku vandu neenga 100 na 1000 is to 1 na 1 lakh vandu neenga 1 lakh people you need to need adula enquiries generate avum adula rendu ulle walk in avaravanga innum kammi avum so ungalku 150 walk in pandrathukku illa ungala number kurthu people vandu ungala call panna vekkrathukku 150 people vandu ulle walk in avanga sir around vandu 500 people ungala call pannuvanga sir adukku what is the budget you can spend neenga unga kitta irukka data kudunga plus enoda i5 database na potu ungala panni kuduthuren enak or 5000 rupees kuduthuren neenga 1 lakh numbers kuduthuringala sir like aama kuduthuren This man seems to have every mobile number yours and those of your family members in his database which is huge and illegal This is because the do not call registry in India is nothing short of a joke the telecom regulatory authority of India does not even hold the service provider responsible for the crank calls that you get this makes the service provider lax and therefore he passes on your mobile numbers to telemarketers for monetary benefits it's a win win situation for everyone except those who receive such unsolicited calls what's worse is that service providers are covering up this big fraud with misleading advertisements as well 
and it's the common man who has become the scapegoat in the marketing driven business of mobile telephony sai manish for ndtv hindu right uh, on the other side of the short break meet steve jobs who talks about everything apple and much more